Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at changes to portfolio for Jira. So today I wanted to show you a few things about uh, or few changes that are actually uh, happening to portfolio for Jira and I think it is uh, uh, really interesting for uh, everyone who is uh, currently using it or maybe considering using a portfolio for Jira and of course uh, I will be sharing the information which is uh, something um, um, I also uh, realized when I was looking at uh, different offerings. Now if you are on the Atlassian website and if you go to let us say uh, the products and if you let us say uh, go to Jira software or let us say if you just click on the try for free button on top so basically you are trying to evaluate uh, Jira on cloud and uh, when you go to the Jira software try cloud option on the uh, on the left hand side as you can see on the screen you can uh, sign up for a cloud uh, uh, version uh, which is which is fine and uh, you, you can definitely uh, you know sign up for a cloud version for evaluating Jira and of course other uh, applications but if you take a look at the plan or rather the the different uh, pricing options let us say if you click on the, uh, the 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 compare plan button you can now see here that we have uh, of course uh, this table and you can uh, take a look at take a look at uh, different uh, features or rather uh, all these things that you will get with the free version, standard version or the premium version. They are more or less same or they were more or less same but of course there are there are few few things different in uh, the premium version or maybe the standard version. So immediately when you took, take a look at this uh, pricing table here, you can see here that for the uh, for, for, for the premium Jira Cloud uh, version, there is something called as advanced roadmaps and uh, it is it, it is right now nothing but this tag or a label here that says coming soon we also have other features like uh, uh, project archiving ip uh, uh, allow listing sandbox and so on so we, we're not really bothered with these features right now we will of course uh, you know learn them later when they are of course announced by atlassian uh, and of course, when you, even if, when you talk about uh, the advanced uh, advanced roadmaps, there is uh, not much that you can figure out by looking at this table. However, if you go to the marketplace, so let us say if I open uh, marketplace.atlassian.com, um, you can uh, search for a portfolio for Jira. So if you type in here. Uh, portfolio for Jira you can take a look at the portfolio for Jira listing or market listing page uh, and you will immediately notice something different here uh, portfolio for Jira used to be also available for cloud but right now it says uh, uh, data center and server only so it means that uh, portfolio for Jira will not be there on cloud anymore but if you go to Google or if you just type in uh, portfolio for Jira documentation you will uh, of course uh, be presented with this link here that says advanced roadmaps for Jira documentation so although the link says the uh, portfolio for Jira documentation but uh, the title is advanced roadmaps now if you if you try to take a look at the documentation of Jira portfolio you're now presented with these two options and of course it is uh, I'm also trying to understand how it how it will work uh, it seems like um, that the portfolio for Jira on cloud will be renamed as uh, advanced roadmaps I am not really sure about the features uh, I, and of course I need to uh, wait for further information from and from maybe uh, maybe at Lush and maybe they will uh, announce it uh, on server it seems like there is no difference I mean by looking at this page but if you go inside let us say if you take a look at the getting started guide 
uh, for cloud portfolio for Jira cloud, which is of course right now it says advanced portfolio, advanced uh, roadmap. The documentation is talking about understanding the fundamentals of long term agile planning, how these concepts work in advanced advanced roadmaps. Um, and if you look if you look at the uh, documentation, I quickly looked at it. It seems like it is more or less same as uh, I mean, of course, uh, there might be some difference. But by initial uh, quick glance of uh, the documentation, it seems like it is uh, same as uh, the previous uh, uh, portfolio for Jira on cloud. Of course, uh, uh, it is very clear now that uh, uh, on cloud uh, on cloud portfolio for Jira will be now known as, I believe, uh, advanced roadmaps. If you are working on next gen projects, you do have this roadmap. But uh, I believe uh, with the help of uh, the portfolio for portfolio roadmap, it will be uh, much more advanced. And uh, we all know how portfolio work works. And if you want to learn how portfolio works, you can also you know watch my video series. But uh, I will be updating you with uh, uh, more information when I when I of course uh, also uh, know by of course evaluating roadmap advanced roadmap as i just mentioned it seems like uh it will be more or less same as uh, the portfolio for jira uh, as we all know and uh, if you are looking at let us say the documentation they are referring to uh, plans that you can create using the improved interface and using the live plans so this is something interesting because uh, if you are looking for using a portfolio on server, you can, you have the option to use the improved interface and you can always use the life plan, which has, of course, different uh, capabilities when it comes to using skills, stages, uh, uh, team member, individual uh, availability, uh, their absences, their leaves, so it has a lot of other features which are uh, of course not there in the improved interface and of course improved interface is uh, is uh, i believe uh, um, ongoing uh, when it comes to development they are at last is adding more features so it seems like that on the cloud version of uh, portfolio which is now known as advanced roadmaps it will have uh, both the plans so which is a good news because the Improved interface is definitely much easier to use. Of course, it is lightweight, but it, it is actually very easy to use uh, as compared to the life plan. Life plan has its own advantages, but there is a learning curve. So I will be keeping a very close, uh, I will be monitoring uh, uh, this particular uh, feature or this advanced uh, roadmap, uh, which is of course, uh, uh, so far it seems like nothing but portfolio for Jira. But let us see, uh, I'll probably go through, the, go through the documentation properly and I'll try to figure out if uh, we have something totally different. Uh, so far it seems like it is nothing but uh, renaming of portfolio for Jira on cloud as uh, uh, advanced roadmaps on cloud. So this is all I wanted to share in this uh, video and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.